Hey there, I'm John, customer success here at SyncSpider. If you're tired of dealing with daily, time-consuming tasks that leave little room to focus on growing your business, listen up. I'm going to show you how you can quickly sync your e-commerce tools together, win back your time to spend on more important stuff, and make your customers feel like they're being treated like royalty. This is SyncSpider, the only app-to-app -app integration tool built for e-commerce. SyncSpider works by creating projects. Projects are a combination of tasks that help you achieve a particular goal. A project could be something like add contacts to newsletter list, or create analytics report. In this case, we want to export Shopify products to Google Sheets. So let's create a project called Shopify product list. The description field allows you to detail what you want to achieve. In this case, let's say exporting Shopify's products to Google Sheets. Once your project is created, it's time to set a task. Click on create your first task. Tasks are individual steps that need to be completed to move your project forward. Projects can hold multiple tasks. That's why it's smart to group everything that needs to happen under a single project. On this step, you need to choose one app that will send out data and one or multiple apps that will receive that data. First, you choose which app will trigger your integration. In this case, we want to migrate products from Shopify to a Google Sheet. So we'll pick Shopify as our source. The integration name is what the task actually does. We'll keep it simple, Shopify products. If you want, you can add a description with extra detail. We'll skip this right now though. One more thing, if you've never connected your Shopify account to SyncSpider before, this is the right time to do it. Your connection is now completed. Keep in mind, we have detailed instructions on how to connect any app in our catalog, so you can always follow a step-by-step -step guide whenever you need to connect a new app. When you're working with Shopify, you need to select an entity in this drop-down menu. Shopify can send product and order data. We'll choose product and click next. Now we need to select where to send the data to. For us, it will be Google Sheets. In this case, I have already connected my account here, so I don't have to give permission again. Just click next here at the bottom. The first step for any task in SyncSpider is to filter out the source data. This is regardless of which tools you want to connect. Let's say you don't want to export all your Shopify products to a Google Sheet. You can use these filters here to segment out your data. You can create as many filters as you want. Once you pick a filter, you need to add a condition and value. This step is entirely optional. If you don't have specific requirements, you don't need to do this right now. We might want to filter out all products with a price higher than $10, so we set price as the filter. Then the condition needs to be higher than, and then we set the value to 10. Simple, right? The next step is to configure your target integration. In our case, Google Sheets. First, we find the location in our Google Drive where we want to save a new CSV, or we can even select a CSV that's already there. In this case, I want to save the data to this CSV called Shopify Sheet. Once you do that, you can add columns to the CSV file. You can do it manually by clicking on the plus sign and naming each column. Or you can upload a file that will serve as a sample using the columns already on that file. We're almost done. Click on next and you'll see the mapping step. Mapping is the process of matching the fields on your source integration here on the left to those on your target integration on the right. You don't need any developer skills to map the fields. Just drag and drop the fields to match the data on both tools. Let's map a few fields to show how this works. First, we grab the title field from Shopify and match this to the product name field in Google Sheets. Another one could be the inventory or SKU field. We'll map that to the SKU field in Google Sheets. I'll speed this up so you can see a whole set of fields already mapped out. You can use the preview values feature here to see how the data is going to look after you successfully run this task without actually running it. A few final settings where you can add or rename the task and description and choose if you want to activate this task now or later. You can also choose how to trigger this task. There's the on schedule option. You can set it to run hourly, daily, weekly or monthly. 
or you can choose On Event, which means the task will automatically trigger whenever another task in this or another project is completed. Click Finish and you'll be back in your project dashboard. And that's it. Here's the task we just created. You can trigger it manually so it runs right now. You can see how each step is done in real time. Once it's 100% completed, we go to the Google Sheets and the data is already uploaded here. And that's SyncSpider for you. If you're running an online store, agency or business that needs to automate tasks, you can learn more at SyncSpider.com or try SyncSpider for free with the link below.